What is going on everybody and welcome to another Minecraft command block tutorial video. Today I want to show you guys how to make a XP extractor uh, using commands. Now a lot of you guys might be like what are you talking about? Well let me go ahead and just show you. A lot of people have been asking me how you could extract experience and put them into potions or use your experience and uh, take them back and put them into potions uh, and stuff like that. So I'm going to go ahead and summon in my contraption here and I'm going to go ahead and turn it on. Uh, after it's activated, I'm going to now summon in this zombie. You guys see I have uh, nothing in my inventory. I'm going to summon this zombie. I'm going to kill the zombie. And instead of getting the experience, I'm going to throw a glass bottle down. And it will give me the experience inside of a bottle. Uh, now the other cool thing is, you can do this or you can go ahead and get the experience. Uh, let's kill another zombie here. And you can actually use the experience to go ahead and extract it so I have one level so if I look straight down and I throw a glass bottle down you guys see that now I have two of these and it took away one level and gave me one bottle now it does use some experience to use this machine so if you had three levels and you put it into three bottles uh, you wouldn't get three levels back so I have two experience bottles and you could see it did use uh, about a quarter of the experience that I actually put into it uh, but that's just a small price to pay for wanting to use this contraption now another thing is guys I was wondering if you would like me to put all of my command block creations into a little device like the one you see behind me and then I wanted to make a tutorial on how you can import this into your own world so you don't have to sit through all the commands uh, when I do a tutorial. All you have to do is follow the simple little instructions using your computer. And I think you could use your phone uh, using like MC Edit and just importing this to any world that you guys want. Uh, and if not, you can leave a comment saying that that's something you don't really care about. Uh, but I'm actually going to go ahead and uh, show you guys how to build this today. So let's go to Game Mode C. And uh, so I have an on off switch for this, but you guys don't have to use this. I just thought the little contraption would be cool to turn it on and turn it off. And, you know, it's up to you guys. So anyway, let's get in here. And the first thing you're going to need to do is you're going to need to get a dropper and fill it with uh, bottles of enchanting. Uh, and you're going to need to place it right here. This is the one that you're going to place down and you're going to use a cloning command block uh, and it'll clone here. So once this clones here, uh, you will put two comparators running into it, just like so. Uh, now this first one is for the zombies, the way you saw that uh, when you kill a zombie and you throw a glass bottle down uh, at the experience to capture it. Uh, this is how the command that works for that, and it's only four commands. So the first one is executing at E type equals experience orb, count one, so it's only going to count one experience orb. Uh, and then execute at E type equals item, and then it's going to look for a glass bottle within five blocks of a experience orb. It's going to affect the player with zero, zero true speed. Uh, what that is, is it's just basically going to do the, execute, the two executes without actually having a, another command do anything, because it's not going to give you speed. Um, now... The next command is a chain, and it's going to be execute AE type equals experience orb, and then teleporting at E, name equals bottle of an enchanting. So it's going to be that bottle of enchanting will teleport at that experience orb when you throw the glass bottle down. Uh, then this execute AE type equals experience orb, count one, executing a bottle of enchanting, and then it's going to kill the experience orb. And then this one is going to kill the glass bottle, basically, when the bottle of enchanting is over there, kills the experience, and then will kill the glass bottle. Um, now, this one is using the actual um, one you guys saw me just do. Uh, whenever you throw one down on the ground and you have one level, it will then activate this one. So, this is executing at E type equals a name equals glass bottle and then executing at a level at least minimum of one for a player within one radius. So, basically, the player standing on top of a glass bottle. Uh, it's just going to execute if that's happening. And if that is, it's going to make this dropper activate. It dispens out a bottle of an enchanting. It's going to give it a four tick delay so it can then activate. Uh, this needs to be an impulse. And when this happens, it's going to execute a type equals uh, an item. Name equals glass bottle. It's going to then execute if you are a player that has a level minimum of at least one. And you're if, if you're in at least one block of the glass bottle, and then we'll take one level from you. Um, so basically when you throw it down, that'll activate so it could dispense that and it'll activate the pretty much the same command to take one level from you uh, then this will then teleport the bottle of enchanting from right there to the player that just threw the glass bottle down and this one will kill the glass bottle 
Uh, and that is pretty much it for this awesome little command creation. This is just a small little uh, experience extractor. I thought this would be really cool to add into your world. And yeah, if you wanted to add in like an on-off switch, something really cool like this, uh, all I'm doing is being relative to wherever you want this because you saw how I summoned it in, which is super far away from the uh, spawn point. So I just decided to do this. Uh, you just look for the coordinates. Uh, and you set a redstone block on top of that one and on top of that one because you can see that they need redstone but you can put them at always active if you don't want to use this machine um, and then this one's setting a redstone block on top of that and this one is deleting the redstone block here and there and that is that is that is it that's how you make the little machine if you guys want to do that to add it to be on and off for people to use uh, and that's pretty much it yeah so if you did enjoy remember to leave a like let me know in the comment section below if you guys want to see any more cool creations and uh also let me know if you guys want me to do something like this uh to all my command block creations or at least a lot of the ones that you guys are really liking and uh to then make a video on how you can import these specifically to certain maps without actually having to watch my tutorial you could just get the uh, schematic files and then i could show you how to import it over you might you might need a pc and uh, i don't know if you could do it with exactly just your phone but xbox users you're gonna have to watch the tutorial unfortunately you can't you can't do that with these awesome commands like this on xbox just yet but yeah that's pretty much it for the video guys if you did enjoy remember to leave a like i'll see you in the next one Bye. i need me